kicking in. This is what we see. We've seen it through the Delta. We've seen these fires get going in the afternoon. Not extremely strong, but it is breezy and fairly constant. You see these winds blowing 11, 12 miles per hour out of Milpitas, a little bit stronger into San Jose to 16. We could expect to see some higher gusts over the next couple of hours if they don't put this fire out. And of course, in and around that area, you've got many, many homes and businesses. So you're right in the middle of uh, an urban section and we don't want that fire to spread. Doesn't look like we're going to see extreme fire conditions. But then again, uh, things are so dry out there. In fact, drought conditions, of course, extending all the way into San Jose, extreme conditions there, exceptional everywhere else and along the western half of the United States. That is the story. And that's where our big dome of high pressure sits right now. And that keeps us baking outside, keeps all that threat of any rain well to the north, except for the monsoonal stuff. Uh, not going to see much in the way of rain at all. And that means, well, we're bringing on the heat again. And uh, we're talking 90s and triple digits inland, a lot of 90s in and around the bay for tomorrow. And that means some hot weather and the dry conditions as we really head into the heart of fire season. All right. That being said, numbers breaking down like this by tomorrow afternoon. Planning about 96 in Concord, 96 in Livermore, 84 in San Jose, 60s out along the coastline. In the next few days, those temperatures staying hot in many inland spots. A return to the monsoon possibly on Saturday.